one of the hazards of living in Alaska. A moose could oh, run out I feel in front so of you. Bad for him with that snow. Mm, the snow's getting deeper, but they do pretty good in that deep of snow. Chaga knows what you're doing, Dad. Where are they, Chaga? Get them. Get them, Chaga. So every seven years or so, uh, hair, snowshoe hair cycle, and uh, they come to a peak and then they deplete their food source, and then they, the food source ends up producing a chemical called tannus, and when they eat it, they can't digest it, and so they start starving to death once they come to the peak of their cycle. And the rabbits, uh, the uh, snowshoe hare, are near the peak of their cycle right now, uh, where we're hunting them. And I went in the woods with the dog today in three feet of snow and we pulled seven hair. So that's pretty good and we saw a lot more. They were popping up everywhere. So it makes for a lot of fun and if we kill more of them, the cycle lasts a little bit longer. So that's our plan. The dog's still out hunting them a little bit. Does but that chemical cause a problem in your meat? No, the chemical just causes them not to be able to digest. So basically they waste away. So it doesn't hurt your meat at all. Your no, it doesn't meat hurt there. your meat, but uh, they become more susceptible to diseases, and you can get lupus and uh, tularemia from hair. So when you're cleaning it, it it's good to wear rubber gloves, and uh, that'll keep you from having uh, fluids mixing with your fluids, and, and that uh, that's how those diseases are spread. So we got seven, and then this time of year. They're generally pretty healthy. Hair that aren't healthy at this time of year are, are really easy pickings for predators and they'll die uh, just from the diseases quickest. So they say any month that has an R in it is a good month for hair uh, that you don't have to worry too much about diseases. But it's the summer months when the living's easy for them that they can survive the diseases and the diseases go through them. But the predators, they follow the the up cycle and they'll peak about a year after the hair um, Come on, Chaga. So we're getting all our fun in right now and putting a little meat in the freezer. I love snowshoe hair and it's, it's a real mild, a really pleasant flavor. And yeah, so I'll probably do a little bit more hair hunting this year still. But seven's pretty good and I got a nice little spot now.
And uh, these guys are brown in the summer, and then their uh, winter coats grow in over their brown, and uh, and they grow in white, so they turn white in October, and then they turn brown again in May. Comment and if you haven't already, please subscribe.